Hey guys, it's 7demo7, and I'm just going to come to you guys with a quick tip on how to repair EPP. This is the molded EPP wing of the S800 Sky Shadow from Banggood, and uh, I had an unfortunate meeting with a tree uh, due to somebody turning on their video transmitter while I was flying. So, uh, really, no damage per se. Uh, a little bit of this Elevon got ripped off, probably about uh, a third of it here. So I'm going to go ahead and repair this here. You can kind of see where the teeth of the um, Elevon kind of come together here. And one of the biggest questions is how do you repair this? Do you tape it? Uh, tape does stick pretty good to this flat um, molded EPP. Now on, on regular wire cut EPP it does not stick very well at all. So I could repair this with tape, but I'm going to show you my preferred method and my preferred glue. Now my preferred glue would normally be foam tack. Foam tack is one of those great glues that's on the market that works every time and it works really well and you can actually take foam tack and put this together and have a perfectly fine hinge uh, that is glued together and it's nice and flexible and it, and it allows nice movement now um, foam tack is nice because it's clear but foam tack is not nice because it's really really expensive so what I actually use and this is exactly what foam tack is is contact cement uh, the only drawback to this is it's got a yellow color to it, and I know Matthew Ogborn doesn't like this color. This is the uh, yellow color that he does not like. Um, so the way you the way you use um, contact cement in general, whether it's uh, this contact cement by Weldwood or if it's with um, foam tack, is that you put a little a thin layer on both sides. Um, so I'm going to put a thin layer here and a thin layer here. You know, let it sit for about five-ish minutes or so to where it tacks up. It gets that contact adhesion going. And then you put the, um, the, the uh, Elevon back on. And what you have to do is to make sure you're really perfectly lined up like this before you actually put it together. Because once it's together, you will not be able to pull it apart without doing some damage to the foam. So that's right. So this should be good. And the f properties of this glue is that it is pretty, um, pretty liquidy. So I'm just going to take... A real thin bead of this on that um, on that little trailing edge here, and I'm just going to barely touch the edge of it here. There we go. That's nice. And we'll do the same thing to this Elevon here. And I'm just just putting a little bit right on that edge where it is going to be touching the airplane here. A little too much right there. Now wearing a glove is nice because you can just spread it around with your fingers. You got way more control with your fingers rather than the brush. I should have just been using my fingers all along. Okay, so uh, I just got that on and let me put, let me just rub this in here just a little bit more just to make sure that we are fully on it and we are. Okay, okay we're gonna wait five minutes and I'll come back and we'll put this together. All right, fellas, um, got myself a nice refreshing drink from the fridge. Um, like I was saying before, make sure that when you put this together that it lines up perfectly. And you'll see the little rip marks that you can get it together. What I'm going to do is I have both my hands on the counter here and I'm holding both sides. I'm going to get them very, very close to each other without quite getting it in. And I'm going to line up the teeth just perfectly here. I'm going to put it together and give it a final press. And that should do it. Just like that. I'm going to have a nice hinge here. Um, uh, it is right now, I'm going to let this dry for probably overnight. I'm not going to fly this because it is the evening time right now. Um, so, uh, just to let you guys know, I got some LEDs in. Uh, these are the Matic um, RGB LED boards. And this is good up to 16 volts. So. Since I'm running this on 4S, I'd like to have just a direct plug into my battery, into the uh, into the um, balance lead, and run some LEDs off here. So I think I'm going to try and get two LEDs on the back of this main pod here, but I'm not quite sure. So I will let you guys know. Um, I'll have a video on that coming up in the future. So look forward to that. I'll put a link to these in the description below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.